Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to Season 3, Episode 8 of my New Zealand Warriors career mode. In this episode, it is back to normal, no bias. Uh, so we've got the two games, as usual. In this first game, we're taking on the Parramatta Eels, uh, which I believe we're in 13th spot, according to the thing at the start. And uh, we're taking on the Sydney Roosters, here. I'm not sure where they're situated, but I believe it's not as high as what you think it is. Uh, actually, th the top eight, I've finished the whole series, and the top eight's a little bit strange, but... Uh, talking about the eel side, they still got the main man, Jaron Hayne, although not there in real life, but, um, yeah, maybe he will be back there in, uh, you know, whatever it is now, 2016 or something on this. Uh, Paulo takes it back and gets it to, uh, Matt Keating, I believe it was. I was going to say Chris Keating, but it's not Ke uh, Chrissy, uh, although he did originally come from, uh, Parramatta. Uh, but he had a really good play there. I think it was Bill Tupper ended up spilling the ball, uh, wouldn't have ended up scoring there, but maybe we could have got an offload away or something. Uh, we're going to get the ball to Vatavai, but Hain, uh, he's not going to miss those tackles. Probably the best fullback on the game, I'd say. But Sean Johnson uh, puts in a little for himself. Couldn't get to it, but... And it was cleared, uh, cleaned up by, I don't know who it was, someone with the winger, whoever it is. Uh, now, Simon Menorin gets a pretty nice ball to Madalino, but Madalino's ball to uh, Johnson or Kevin Locke, whoever it was, not quite as good, and Ryan Morgan picked it up. Thankfully, we stopped him pretty quickly, but right here, they're going to go straight down the wing there. David Mead it is. Uh, you know, obviously a speed star, so we've got to watch out for him, but Bill Tupac should be able to handle him, although he didn't handle him very well to send. Uh, now they're going to throw an offload here, Rapira, and uh, that's another intercept they're going to clean up, this time Sean Johnson. Uh, I mean, if they can't catch Madalino, what chance do they have of catching Sean Johnson? Although Jared Hain did uh, gain on him a little bit, which is surprising, but you can see there, it's in the 39th minute, so that would have been so cruel for Eels and Eels fans uh, to concede a try like that. And at that time as well. I mean, not on the attack there. They had a few good attacking plays there. Although, I guess all their, their good build-up play started off with our own intercept. So, uh, you know, I suppose that all evened out in the end there. But 6 not half time, we'll definitely take that. Taking up the left centre here. Nielsen hits a fly amount of out of eye. And once again, Jared Hayne uh, just makes the tackle ever so easily. It's actually a little bit frustrating coming up against him so much. Uh, but Kevin Locke, going to put in a little grubber for himself. Got quite lucky with the um, the deflection because I believe it probably would have went over the dead ball line. But uh, what happened was is I, I noticed that Jaron Hayne obviously made the tuck beforehand. Was out of position. I thought, why not go for it? I mean, nothing else seems to be working. We scored off an intercept. So, you know, I haven't been playing too, too flash in this game. Uh, but yeah, it ended up working out. 12-0 it is. Ryan Morgan. Uh, he's going to get it off to uh, whoever that was. I couldn't really see. Uh, but that was a pretty good try for them. Uh, but at the same time, it was very poor. I thought it said Ioni, but I wasn't going to uh, say the name in case it was wrong. Um, but yeah, very poor defense from us in terms of I went for the low tackle and missed. Which sort of, you know, had I held off, fullback probably could have made the tackle and I could have just taken the guy he passed to. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put my hand up and say it's my fault. Also, my fault here is Randy Matua making a break, but thankfully we chased back and we scrambled quite well and, uh, you know, ended there. But Mara makes a little break here, or makes a heart break, but Johnson turns it into a full-on break. Uh, unfortunately, nothing really came with that, but 72 minutes in here. We've got a chance to sort of wrap it up here. Mana Vatify just destroys whoever his opposite winger was. Gets it to Kevin Locke, also his feet up. Passed it way too early there, but yeah, a little bit disappointed that Kevin Locke couldn't have made something happen there, but uh, we've got the win, and that's the main thing. I mean, I don't really care how I win these games, as long as I win these games. And that's what's happening. Still undefeated. Uh, don't want to jinx it. We've still got a long way to go in the season. And also, we've got another game left in this episode. Uh, also, you can see all the results before, as well as uh, a few teams had the buy there. But taking a look at the Rooster side now, Steve Turner and Oldfield in the wing. With Jack White in uh, the centers. No Mitchell Pierce, Townsend. Like, it's a really different side. Uh, I think Sonny Bill's still there, though. Um... But, yeah, just in terms of their side, it, it's fairly different, although Minicello is still there for them. Uh, and that kind of explains why their form might not be as good as what you would think. I don't expect this to happen to Roosters in real life, at least for, you know, in this time frame, whatever. And we've got Kevin Locke on the ball here, just steps around his defender there, probably all of a sudden on someone just there. Tries to take it around Minicello, but there was another player who went back and got them. And we've got a ball here. Sean Johnson just going to draw it in. Gets it to Harrell. He gets it to Tupo. The Tupo's just got to beat Minicello, which he can't. And, uh, you know, that's a pretty good tackle there by Minicello. Now, fifth tackle here. We had Kevin Locke back there prepared for the kick, but we throw it out to Bill Tupo. Uh, originally, I was just going to try and, uh, you know, just run over myself there, but uh, end up putting in a few kicks. Got a repeat set. It looks like Sean Johnson was just going to, you know, drive his way in there, but he didn't. Um, and then we blow a try there. Kevin Locke. It would have been half to half just then with a kick. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. 
Although we are going to force our way into a chance here. Dane Nielsen, is he going to get over? He's got the winger or the fullback, wherever it is. And he does get it down. And that's 4-0 to us. Now, what happened there? It was just sheer perseverance. Um, just waiting for the opportunities to arise. We saw that uh, there's a little bit of a bump off. Saw my, the player haven't overrun them. So, you know, I could keep going with offloads. And that's something that I, I tend to fall into with the offloads is offloading when it's not there. Uh, and I find if I just keep it simple, that you know, that's the best for me. Um, but, you know, if there's there, they're just begging to happen. And, you know, finally pick the right ones out. Now, Connor Harold is going to draw and pass here. But thankfully for Roosters fans and, uh, you know, the players, uh, the center and wing or whatever, they all tracked back uh, very, very well. Could shut it down. Dane Nielsen, can he pick up his second try? Yes, he will. Uh, just picked up an intercept. It was just so, so simple that you just got to stand right in their line and they just pass it straight to you because uh, it's a very robotic. But 10 nil. About to turn into 12 nil straight over the black dot just after half time. So we didn't even touch the that first touch of the ball in the second half was an intercept try. So we'll definitely take that every day of the week there. Jabari Hargroves gets a nice offload to Martin Kennedy, who we haven't seen this year. Uh, drugs. I saw it up. Uh, that's all I'm going to say with that. Uh, now they're going to launch up a bomb here. Now Bill Turbay takes it very well. There was half a chance to make a break there, but just wanted to show that we recovered quite well after, you know, their few good runs there. Uh, couldn't get the 20 meter tap, but it didn't matter anyways. Bill Tupo just seals it here. Uh, such a good player for us. Who would have thought Fishy he would have been dropped for Billy Tupo? Especially how he is in real life. But there's the intercept. 16 soon becomes 18. Although it was a little bit of a, you know, average sort of kick, but it still went over. So a uh, 3th and 3 Sean Johnson is. And that's how the game is going to end. You can see how elated our team is. I think that was Jack White and they just showed then. Then Nielsen picked up man of the match, two tries, I'd say fairly deserving. Uh, so here's the results for round 14, and we are going to take a look at the, the league ladder as well, which obviously we will be on top, but before we do that, we'll take a look at the New South Wales Blues and the Queensland Maroons, uh, you know, announcements for the squad. For us, we have Matteo and Lilliman. Um, so like I said many times, Lilliman not even a first choicer for us, uh, at least guaranteed anyways. There we are, all alone on the top, as it should be. And that's where the video is going to end. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Hopefully you can leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Also with the likes, if we can hit 20, that'd be awesome. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, at MrLuke on YT is my Twitter handle. And uh, if you want to f uh, give my Facebook page a, uh, a like, or whatever, it's in the description below. And um, yeah, make sure you, you subscribe and I'll see you for the next video. Bye guys.